How's it going, everybody? Welcome to this video. Welcome back to Pitch Kettle. My name is Nick. I'm gonna make a little fire right here, and then I'm gonna split some wood. And it is so cold out here. I am doing this video a little bit different than I would normally make a video, in that I'm going to record this all in one take, and we'll see. We'll see how it turns out. Let me grab some wood real quick over here. Now I want to say first off, happy Thanksgiving. Belated happy Thanksgiving, I guess, because Thanksgiving is over. But we had it and it was great for us. Spent a lot of time outdoors. Spent a lot of time with family. Uh, as one would for Thanksgiving. And so that was great. Hope you had a fantastic Thanksgiving and that you made memories and had quality time. Hey, listen, um, I want to bring this up just because I feel like this could be helpful. Um, you know, a lot of, if you've been following the channel, a lot of you know, or maybe all of you know who have been following the channel that um, I, I'm a Christian first and foremost. That's the thing I'm, uh, that's who I am, what I am. And, and I want to say that, um, I know a lot of you watching are also Christians. And so I wanted to ask you to help me with something. And that is, uh, to pray. So if you are a person that prays, I ask that you'll take time to pray with me uh, about something. And that is that uh, recently, a month ago or so, a guy who I used to go to church with, about 50 years old, maybe 53, 51, I don't know, uh, a dad had two, has two um, younger teenage kids. I would say probably in like the 13 to 16 year old range. And they, um, that family lost the dad um, suddenly. He was driving, had a heart attack, crashed, died. And like literally a month before Thanksgiving, which is pretty, pretty traumatic, you know? Um, to say the least, pretty traumatic. And so for that family, maybe if you're a praying person, say a prayer for them and, you know, believe in faith that they will be encouraged because they're going through literally right on the heels of his passing going into Christmas or, or Thanksgiving and then Christmas. Not to mention the other holidays that will come down the road and he's no longer there with them. It's tough. If you want, I don't want to give their personal information out. Obviously it's private. So, uh, the wife's name, we'll just call her a, her name starts with a. And so we can pray for a and her family. Uh, we took a moment on our Thanksgiving day when we were praying the blessing for the food to pray for that family. And, you know, I'm hopeful that, that it'll do some good. I had a thought at three o'clock in the morning when I woke up, I've been having these thoughts. Like I wake up and I just start thinking because I can't sleep. I don't know why. But the thought occurred or, or popped in my mind at three in the morning that it's so strange to me how some people are drawn to the outdoors, some are not. Some are drawn to big city living, some are drawn to outdoors, some are drawn to really roughing it, camping, hiking, or whatever, whatever, what have you, right? I grew up in a city 
And I always felt this draw to live a more rural life. And so my fire is not doing any good at all. Um, to live a rural life, I, at like age 14, had the dream of like living in Wyoming. This is before Yellowstone and all of the fads and everything made it out there. But I had this dream of living in Wyoming and I don't know, just being in nature and living. It seems so cool and uh, still does. But I was watching a, a show. What show was it? I can't even remember. My wife and I were watching a show and it was showing uh, footage of, I want to say Montana. And like, oh, I remember it was a movie. It was a movie um, of this lady who loses her husband and her son uh, to uh, uh, some tragedy. And so she decides to like move to Montana. She spends the last of her money, buys a cabin, buys like a thousand acres or something and like provisions and then goes out there having never survived in nature before. And as I'm looking at the footage, I'm just like overwhelmed, not overwhelmed, overcome with emotion. Like, uh, if you don't know me, I tend to be a pretty emotional guy. Um, some would say in touch with my emotions, meaning like I got no problem crying or, or, uh, definitely not embarrassed of it. So I was like crying because I was like, dang, I just feel this draw. My wife and I were talking about it and I was like, do you feel the draw to like the wild outdoors? And she's like, no, not at all. She likes being outside. She will camp with my kids and I, my kid, my daughter loves to camp. Um, my sons are okay with it, but I was like, do you just feel like that irresistible draw to like be in the wild? And she's like, no. And I'm looking at these rivers in the Montana landscape. And I'm like, man, like I could catch so many fish in there. I could just live there forever and be so content. I don't know. So we're watching the movie and this is a good movie. Um, kind of a weird ending. I would like halfway recommend it. Maybe like a six out of 10, not the movies overall. Okay. But the ending's terrible. And so, uh, I'll put the title of the movie in the description below, I guess. But I just thought it was interesting that some people can be like so emotionally moved by nature and some people just don't have that. That's not a bad thing. It's just different, right? Not bad, just different. And so, uh, I'm putting way too much work into all this wood that is totally green. Whoa, that is a gnarly knot right there on the inside of this log. Crazy. So just interesting that obviously like everyone's different, but why is it that some people are so drawn to something and other people uh, can be like, no, that was the thought that I had at 3 a.m. Um, I'll tell you that I, this is off topic, off the topic of this particular video, but man, I'm being lazy. I want to do more of these just candid videos. One shot, one take, zero editing. See what happens. I want to do more of these and hopefully you'll enjoy them. Hopefully you'll like what the video is. If you have any ideas or suggestions as to why some people are wired the way they are, I'd be interested in hearing. Um, I took a, a walk out into the woods behind our home. We have a little bit of property and I took a walk out into the woods and I sat in my tree stand for about an hour just to sit 
and I feel like it was so healing. I feel like it was so regener regenerative, regener hmm. not that, not that word. I don't think uh, rejuvenating. There we go. I thought it was so rejuvenating, and so I feel like I should be doing that a lot more often. Uh, especially now having an office job. Uh, you know, I, if you don't already know, just go watch some older videos. Like my last three videos before this one, you'll, you'll understand what I'm talking about, but moving away from like the homestead self-employment into an office job on quite, on, quite literally like a dream office job, a dream job period that happens to take place partially in an office. Like I have my own office. That's pretty cool. Um, that juxtaposed against outdoor, like this right here, 38 degrees outside, cold, splitting firewood to warm our home with the wood stove. It's like, to me, picture perfect. Like I get this outdoor, I get the country, which is beautiful and I love it. Uh, at the same time, kind of like the office job, nine to five, nine to five vibe. It's cool. Thanks guys for watching this. If you have anything you'd want me to pray about for you, drop a comment. I don't care. Like I'll pray for you. If it is a thing that you want prayer for, drop a comment. I'll add you to my prayer list. Keep it real. Uh, stay true. I don't know how to close this off. Anyways, thanks for watching. Goodbye.